Hey guys, Ben here. Looks like we got kind of the same situation here on day three. We got a starving calf right there. We got a mama cow who's not letting her nurse, so we're gonna lock her up one more time and uh, see if we can get her in a squeeze chute and uh, let that calf nurse. Not open. She wants to go through. Oh yeah, she knows what she knows the drill. Come on. See, it gets a little easier every day. Hopefully we don't have to do this too many more times. Go. Baby, you know what's You're up. You're hungry. Oh, did you, Mama? So show them the, the udder from. Oh, yeah. It's like a seasoned pro already, huh? All right, so one of the other things we like to do, I like uh, usually on day two, day one, I don't like to mess with uh, the calves and the mama too much. You really just want to let them bond, let the calf nurse that first day. It's a lot stronger on day two. But on day two, I normally uh, do two things. Uh, so if it's, a, if it's a little female heifer calf, usually all I do is I tag them. Uh, and the tagging number system I use is uh, the first two numbers are the year. So this year's 2023, and then the second two are the number calf. So 2301 for this calf. Uh, now, I, we like to do is, uh, I do yellow tags for heifers and white tags for bull calves, and that lets me uh, quickly determine when we're uh, you know, working up through shoots and stuff. Uh, if I'm trying to separate boys and girls, it's it's just a quick way to identify to have different colored tags. Uh, but on the tag, normally I put the tag number. I like to put the date the calf was born. And then on the back, I'll put the sire in the dam. That way, uh, later on, if something were to happen to my paper copy or anything, I've at least got the information about that calf for future use uh, physically attached to the calf. The other thing you can do on day two, now we've kind of experimented with it, is if uh, if it's a bull calf, if you're going to castrate them, I know lots of people, and we've done it too, where you can castrate on day two, and we usually use the banding tool for that. Uh, but if you're going to band them, you have to give a tetanus shot, and you may as well give black leg at the same time, so a, uh, a vaccination for that. So that's basically uh, a couple of things you can do early on with uh, with calves on the first couple of days. Cut it. So one last thing right before you go to uh, put the ear tag in is at a minimum, I think you wanna clean the tag itself just in case uh, there's anything on it. And then any part of the ear contacts, it's gonna clean the ear as it goes in. Well, you don't want too much on there to burn their ear, but uh, I like to put the tag in where the point goes to the inside of the ear because there's no hair generally on the inside of the ear so the point side will go to the inside of the ear and the tag will be on the outside so all the hair and stuff on the outside of the ear we're pushing out and not into the puncture from inserting the tag so so we're we'll gonna put the tag in Come on, look. i like to get it in the ear a fair amount uh, so it doesn't rip out and you can kind of see the ribs in the ear come on baby between them and then we're gonna let her go right back to feeding and you can see that's pretty uh come on mom 
Not very stressful for the calf. They don't like it a whole lot, but uh. Don't let her go behind. Oh, in the front. In the front. But you know it can't be too dramatic if uh, they can go right back to feeding like that. So just part of it. You have to be able to identify your calves. So you know who's who, especially when they get older. If you're going to use them for breeding or when you're going to butcher them, so you uh, have the ages and everything right. So that's just how we uh, we tag ours. get this old girl real friendly because uh, something tells me we might have to do this plenty of more times over the next couple months to uh, get this calf to weaning age. Hey, sweet girl. That's looking like a full calf right there. You full? chance to see if she'll uh, let the calf near her in the open again, kind of like yesterday. Calf might be too full it's today. Full. Cool, huh, girl? <laughs> <laughs> 